Hi, beloveds. My name is Tamala Malay, and welcome to your empowerment place. Today, we're going to answer the question Are the Akashic Records ungodly? So, why would this even be a question? Well, I live in the South and the South is known as the Bible Belt. And there are lots of folks here who um, really consider anything outside of church as not necessarily being godly. And so I do get a lot of questions about, well, you know, oh, them Akashic Records, those are, <laughs> those are the devil, honey. And that's not true at all. And I'm going to explain why. All right, so here we are, our awesome little selves going along, right, doing our normal thing, right? We have our third dimensional body, 3D. That's the things that we can touch and taste and smell and experience, right? So then we have our 4D, and the 4D is going to be out here. And this is part of our energy field as well. Our 4D or fourth dimension is going to be outside of space and time. So 3D space and time, right? We have to have, we move around in third dimensions and time is a thing for us. There's a, a seed time, a, a growing time and a harvest time, right? And as time is participating in our third dimension, we sometimes forget we made uh, intentions or we forget that we made a choice and we don't understand the consequences that we're getting, right? All that kind of stuff. And we have our relationships and all, all the fun things that happen. Well, in the fourth dimension or in 4D, that is where our mental body is okay so that's going to be our mental body and so with our mental body that means our thoughts okay so our thoughts are actually outside of space and time that's why we can think about our past we can remember our past we can think about our future right because it's outside this stagnant 3D present moment, okay? So in between the third dimension and the fourth dimension, I'm gonna get a different color here, is our emotional body, okay? So there's our emotional body that bridges between our third dimensional physical body and our fourth dimensional mental body. So what, so what does that mean? So what that means is we are here having an experience, living our life in the present moment. And we have a thought that generates an emotion that then moves us to action. Or we have an emotion that creates a thought that then creates another emotion that moves us to action, right? And so our emotional body is the fuel. It, emotions fuel our thoughts and the emotions fuel our actions. So they're really between the third and fourth dimensions. But usually when I talk about them, I just go ahead and pop them into the fourth dimension because our emotions are also outside of space and time. So they're not in 3D and 3D is space and time. So the emotional body, we can feel about our past, right? We can have emotions, we can have feelings, um, we can have remembering of feelings, um, of traumas, of excitements, of joys, of happinesses, right? All of that. And we also can project our feelings into the future. What will it feel like when I have this experience, right? So the emotional body is also outside of space and time. So we got our third dimension body. We got our fourth dimension emotional body where we feel and our mental body where we think, right? Those are fourth dimension. And then the next dimension is the fifth dimension. And that is where 
the Akashic Records are. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to name this 40. Okay, and then this one is 3D. Okay, there. So 3D, 4D, 5D. So the Akashic Records are in the fifth dimension because they are outside of space and time and they are connected to our spirit. So the Akashic Records are not separate from us. They are actually part of who we are as individuals, as humans, as spirits, as souls. The Akashic Records are part of us as individuals. And so our Akashic Record is connected to us through our thoughts, our emotions, and our actions. And that's why the records record all of those, right? Every thought, word, and deed, every thought, word, and action is stored in the Akashic Records in our own special, unique record. That's not anybody else's. It doesn't belong to anyone else. It's just ours. And because it's ours, it's part of how God created us. So it can't possibly be ungodly. And so how do blocks and restrictions show up with this? So we take actions in our third dimension and we create things like contracts or vows or um, various blocks and restrictions. And then they get stored in our Akashic record. And they're still kind of hanging over us, right? They're still attached to us because they're choices that we've made. And we've made those choices through an emotional response or a mental response, but it's moved us into action. And that action that we take in the third dimension is what then creates our karma, right? And karma is just a mechanism. We take an action, karma spits out the consequence or the result, okay? It's neutral. And so as we're working all of this stuff together, as we're thinking, we're feeling, we're acting, all of that's just getting stored in our book of records. That's all it is. It's a very neutral place. There's no judgment there. There's no opinions there. It is just a record of all of our experiences. So we can access our own Akashic records if we know how and if we know what questions to ask. And that's one of the things that I train people in the Akashic Record Certification course that I teach. Other people can also access our records with our permission. No one can access your records without your permission. You're safe, you're secure, right? You don't have to worry about that. And you can give professionals like me permission to access your Akashic Records and to find out all this awesome, amazing stuff about you, like your soul purpose, your soul group of origination, um, all your spirit guide information, um, your God spark, all of this delicious, wonderful, juicy information about how amazing you are. And then any blocks or restrictions that you have for you fully stepping into all of this amazingness. And through the modality that I teach, we also can clear out those blocks and restrictions so that you are able to start with a clean slate. So if you're interested in joining me for the Akashic Record Certification course and the Your Empowerment Practitioner Certification, you can visit my website at yourempowermentplace.com. You also can send me an email at awaken at yourempowermentplace.com. So for the fair energy exchange for today's lesson, please subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, comment, give me a thumbs up and share this with anyone that you think could benefit.